Hi everybody, Tashi here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Welcome back, happy Monday to you all. You are looking at Mikhail. Yes, that's a treat. Um, to those of you new, Mikhail is my toddler reborn baby and he is the Liam Sculpt by Bonnie Brown. He was reborn by Hill Country Reborns and he's gonna be the... Uh, well, the focal point of this video today. So I finally just got him changed and he is sporting some winter attire. Uh, I figured we'd get the last of the cozy, cuddly, stay warm winter feel. Um, it's still freezing here on Long Island, New York. I don't know what the weather is supposed to be the whole week. I just know it's Sunday night and it's been, you know, pretty cold all weekend and pretty cold here and I literally had not changed Mikhail since before Christmas <laughs> so um you know my back's not so great y'all so um you know it's a little bit more of a chore changing the toddler than it is the smaller babies and you know I've been busy painting and doing other stuff um, but lit the, this entire outfit, except for the socks, I had to take out of the clothing bags and take the tags off. Like I had stuff that I had shopped, um, probably like at the middle of last summer or towards the end of the summer. Um, I shopped for fall and winter for him and I'm realizing that I just, um, really only need a few things for him because I really honestly don't change him that often. Um, plus with the toddler dolls, uh, it's very, very, very difficult to avoid um, clothing rubbing on especially like their feet, their hands, um, somewhat their faces, but more their like feet and hands and arms and legs and stuff. So, um, you know, it, you can't get the their hands and feet in the clothing the same way um that you would like a a baby a you know a newborn size um reborn doll so i don't really like to change him a lot um although i do i so much enjoy doing uh photo shoots with him um and which is you know why i did change him because i know i'll be changing him again soon getting into something spring so I stuck the hat on his head also because well I was kind of lazy and just wanted to do the video I may actually brush his hair uh in this video for you all um I should have done some pictures with the hat on first duh those are his beautiful eyes I'm just going up close on his face so a question that I get often um on my channel and even sometimes on instagram is about toddler reborns and specifically about dressing them i've done several videos and one not too long ago maybe in the fall or uh late summer that i talked about dressing your toddler reborns but i thought it was worth kind of going over again and you know what i'm gonna set the camera up on the tripod and we'll brush mikhail's hair oh and by the way mikhail is wearing everything on him except for the socks i believe was from allied um so that's the places like overseas that like take for that are you know fairly inexpensive and uh and take forever take like four to six weeks to come are great places to find inexpensive uh toddler clothes so i got some hair stuff here I'm just put a pillow for my back hopefully you won't see too much of me because I'm not really ready to be in the video <laughs> um so i have some noodles and boo noodle and boo leave-in conditioner i highly recommend this for all types of 
hair, uh, both mohair and human hair. I actually use it on my own hair myself. So I'm going to have to move my tail over. So I'm going to make sure y'all can still see him. Yeah. Okay. And I am going to wet his hair down. Um, also, a friend had messaged about this um, squirt bottle, which I've shared as well in videos. Um, but this is a continuous spray bottle. So you press it and the mist comes out for like three seconds. And it's a good amount of mist. Uh, and I got this on Amazon. I don't know the exact one I got because it was so it was like several years ago um but I know if you look them up like just continuous spray hair mist bottle you will find it you will find a lot of them they come in like two packs they're not expensive and there's you know they come in different colors and I I don't think one is any really different from the other to be honest Anyhow, so that's what that is. So, the question, question I get about toddlers uh, dressing them, and I specifically get questions on Liam. I just had one the other day, and I think what they were asking, although they started asking about, like, this Liam and stuff. This Liam, by the way, is not for sale. None of my dolls are for sale. Um, usually the dolls that I'm showing on my YouTube channel are dolls in my collection. And like for this Liam in particular, um, his artist is not around anymore in business. And he is my absolute dream Liam. I waited years to get him. Um, you know, he was made special for me and, you know, he's, he's never going to be for sale. Um, and I really honestly, um, like if you're looking to have a Liam done or looking for a Liam, my suggestion would be to do some research and find, you know, an artist or artists that specialize in toddlers um, you know, see if they do customs or see if you can follow them when they're finishing up a doll so that a lot of times they'll announce like on their Instagram or Facebook page when their dolls are going up for auction. Um, toddlers can be quite expensive. Um, as we all know that the price of reborn doll, you know, dolls and silicone dolls and the price of everything else, mind you, you know, milk, gas, clothes, food, everything has gone up. Um, so that, of course, includes the dolls because the supplies are becoming more expensive and the cost of living is more expensive. A lot of artists do it for a living. So anyway, but my point is, yeah, they can be rather expensive. So you're definitely going to want to save your pennies and, you know, to get anything that looks realistic and nice is going to be up there. And that's the same with, you know, the any size doll. Um, but you can also look, keep your eye on the second market uh, is a great place to you know, definitely keep an eye too. Sometimes you could get a doll a little less expensive um, off another collector. You know, it just depends. Um, uh, what you gonna call it? But yeah, and also you know, consider that there's other sculpts that are perhaps not as big as the Liam, but artists still do them in like more of a toddler style. And you still kind of get that toddler feel from them. And like, you know, you can still like pose them for pictures and put them in like big kid clothes and, you know, still have a lot of fun with a doll that's a little smaller that isn't, you know, as expensive to for an artist to create 
as like a doll the size of a Liam. But anyway, um, so that's my suggestion for all of you that are going to ask, where can I get this doll? I always get, where can I get that doll? I get, can I buy this doll <laughs> like mine? No, you can't buy mine. Um, but the Liam like blank kit is available at the dealers and you know, you can find an artist to, you know, paint one or even try your hands at painting one yourself. You know, there's different ways, you know, if you stick around and you do your research, you know, there's different ways to find what you're looking for. Okay, so I can't really see totally because I'm only like a one side, but I think his hair looks okay now that we've got you all wet. So you'll notice that these clothes are very baggy. I go for a very baggy style. Um, you have to look at the sculpt when you're dressing a toddler. The Liam has very wide, um, like hips, a wide butt and chunky upper thighs. Okay, so his bottom, he needs a full 24 months to two teeth on his bottom. That can make it difficult when you're buying a set or a romper. I always go with um, 24 months or 2T in any sort of one piece thing and all of his pants. Some of his shirts I do 18 months. Some of them I do 24 months or even 2T. It depends, but um, it also depends on what body your Liam is on. If it's on a little bit smaller of a body. I've seen some collectors get away with literally like, like nine to 12 months on tops for a Liam. Um, so, you know, my suggestion would be like, if you have a Liam, um, look at the clothes the doll came with or came in and see the size, um, to get an idea. I always figure if I go like with the 24 months or 2T, um, kind of whatever I'm buying, unless I kind of look and know like the brand and know it's going to be huge. Um, I feel like if I go with that, even if something is a little big and baggy, um, I'd rather that than it not fit at all. And I can always shrink something in the wash. So, and then I know like if a store is like out of sizes or something that I gotta go with, I gotta go with the, the 24 months or the 2T with the pants, but I can certainly get away with going on 18 months or even possibly 12 months in the shirts. So where do I shop for the toddler clothes? Um, Target's a great place. Their Cat and Jack stuff is really adorable. Um, Mikhail has quite a bit of, uh, clothes like the Cat and Jack brand clothes which I know that Carter's um I mean Target carries um Carter's would be you know another place um the Allied Express is is a good place to get inexpensive it's like a long wait for the stuff to come but it's so much cheaper and a lot of times you can find clothing that you find that's actually quite expensive in those little online boutiques that go and like hand pick, you know, the hottest items for the year and they put them on pretty wooden hangers and take nice pictures and then they sell it to you for a fortune <laughs> when you can actually get this stuff a lot cheaper if you just look around online a bit. So um, that's also Good, a good place. Um, I'm trying to think where else. Old Navy and Baby Gap. That's another place. I love to shop Old Navy for him. Some Baby Gap for him. Old Navy is really reasonably priced clothes. And are really just good for toddler clothes. They have cute toddler clothes. 
Um, I bought from him H&M. Um, I like to buy all the socks from H&M. These are not H&M, but um, a lot that he has is H&M. Um, Next Baby, I've bought from Next for him. Um, I'm trying to think of like where else off hands, but those are some places to start. I actually had a viewer that was asking me a few days ago if they liked my Liam's clothes and if I would send them clothes for their Liam, which, you know, of course I'm, I'm not selling any of my, uh, Mikhail's clothes because obviously I still have him and I'm using them. Um, but I'm, always, always, always very happy to share with you all, um, where I've gotten the clothes so that you can go and find them for yourself. Um, so, you know, to I know, like I said, I know toddlers are really popular, even on Instagram. I will have folks comment and ask, say, oh, are you going to do a video with Mikhail soon? I know, I, um, you know, everybody loves to see him, and I adore him. He's here. He's, you know, part of my collection. Obviously, I look at him every day. He's sitting in my living room, um, and, you know, I just really enjoy when I do change him and taking photos. Um, you know, I don't pick him up too often anymore because my back's gotten that bad. Um, but like now he's on the couch and when I'm done with photos, he'll probably sit on the couch with me for a while tonight. Um, because it's just fun. Toddlers, they're a whole, it's like a whole other different, like, type of role play and, like, feel of, you know, when we have the babies, the reborn babies in the house, you have that newborn baby feel. And with a toddler, it's like a whole different feel. And for me, it's just very like fun and childlike. And, you know, you can put little toys out um, as props. I mean, these are baby toys. I put these in props for my infants as well. But, you know, it's just, they are a lot of fun. Um, it took me several years to, you know, to get to this Liam. Um, I had a gr little girl, Liam Aubrey, when I started out. And let me tell you something. She was amazing. And if I was going to have a girl, Liam, she would have been it. She was perfection. But I had my little heart set on a boy, Liam, and I didn't have the money at the time to be keeping another toddler, and, you know, that was it. So I let her go. And then I had the one little blonde-haired um, Liam because I thought I'd give him a shot because I wanted a boy, um, and he was adorable, just a little too like fair for me I need a little bit more of you know well like him and you know once I got you know Mikhail with the little freckles and the red hair and the you know blue green eyes um it, it just <sighs> he's just like everything in personality and you know just yeah he's just definitely definitely my my toddler <laughs> and that's all I can say so I hope it was helpful for you all with a little bit of you know um toddler clothing sizing um I know this video might be boring to you all that like normally watch me and have already heard you know this or that aren't interested in toddlers that's the thing about the toddler reborns like Either either you love them and you're or you have toddlers on your mind, you're interested because you're, you know, getting one or something, or it's just like nah, you know, I'm in baby mode right now. So it just all depends. But I wanted to give Mikhail some time. I'm probably gonna record tomorrow's video or Tuesday's video tonight. Um get a few recorded so that I can have videos up for you all every day 
and I'll be definitely doing some live streams in membership this week. If you're not a part of the Pixie Squad, check that out. Um, when you go and smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, you will also see a blue join button. So if you want to become part of my exclusive paid membership on my channel, um, you can do the blue join button. It's $1.99 a month. It's all inclusive. You can cancel that at any time. You must be 18 years or older to join, but it is everything behind the scenes um, here with me. And um, yeah, so I, like I said, want to get some videos done. Who else? Oh, well, I got the the conjoined twins. Don't let them shock you if you all haven't seen them before, but they just happen to be the only other babies out on the couch. Um, this is Francis and Julian. This one's Francis. This one's Julian. And they are the Gianna and Julia sculpt by Chenza Dolls. And these babies were actually reborn by me. So they are actually the last babies that I just um, painted and rooted. So they're very special boys. But yep. They're on the couch. They're hanging out in the uh, little Snuggle Me organic baby cot or whatever you call it. And everybody else is in bassinets and stuff like that. I have some exciting going on. Hopefully this week you all will know the excitement. Um, I have to let my members know what's going on because I haven't even spilt the beans in there yet, but I'm super, super excited. It is along the lines of silicone, baby. I will tell you all that. <laughs> um, so some changes happening in my nursery and I have to wait to see about like when the shipping occurs, but I'm hoping that definitely um this week maybe even early this week i will have a new baby to show you all so stay tuned make sure you smash that subscribe button and um well we will see you all next time all right god bless